Well, friends, welcome to the middle of nowhere, Alberta. Got a project come up where I got to quench a lot of parts of steel and it overheats the water. So I'm going to be building a quench tank today that's going to have some cooling capacities to it. Where's Peter? Right there? He's the man. He's got connections. We're going to be harvesting parts off of these bad boys. This one behind me or this one or that one to cobble something together. So let's, let's see what we got here to work with. Chrysler! Yeah. Oh, the whole fan and rad just done. Plan is we're going to use a rad, possibly fan, possibly water pump off this old combine, compile that together, run it through a barrel, that'll be the quench tank cooler. So the rad's in there. Man, that fan is, that like that whole setup is pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. This idler could come off. I could just put a motor on that, Pete. And then uh, the fan would be, I was gonna, yeah, that would be super cool. This probably wouldn't come off too bad. No. Hose is good. Yeah. Should we look at the other ones before we commit to one rad? Might as well. I don't know. See what the other ones have to offer? They're they all the same? Use. Oh, there's, there's a ladder on this side. Isn't that convenient? What's up? And then it would be fan and pump at the same time, Pete. Make a plate. Yeah. Some gasket material. Yeah. Away you go. Away you go. Just take this, the whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> Got a probably a 350 here, or maybe even bigger. 345, probably. Three, 345, just plop that down on the shop floor. Just while Pete's getting out the last bits, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video and making this project possible. So if you're looking for a website to get your business looking sharp and tidy online, look no further than Squarespace. Templates, award-winning designs in any category that you're going to need. Whatever you do, Squarespace is going to have an awesome template for you. If you want to tweak one of your templates a little bit, there's this thing called Fluid Engine. It allows you to drop and drag and move things around so you can really customize your website to make it exactly 100% how you need it to be. If you're trying to sell something uh, at a location, you can do a point of sale so you can connect your Squarespace app to your Square Reader, make that transaction happen to keep the business coming. So head over to squarespace.com slash timd gets you 10% off your first purchase. Get set up with Squarespace. Now let's get back to the shop and see how this project goes. Oh. All right, here's the score. The gas tank, which is gonna be the quench tank at this point. Uh, this is just kind of cool. I don't know if I need that. We'll see, it is pretty big when it gets in the shop. The water pump, fan, motors, alternator, just grab that for the pulley. And this is the rad and the housing. So now that I got the parts harvested, I gotta figure out how to turn this concept into a reality. Here we go, we're gonna see how this is gonna look. So this should go up. This. Oh, 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 oh. No way. <laughs> Guys, check this out. I've done no modifications. This is the chicken barn fan that I've had forever. And this is the rat in the flange and it just fits like, it fits so perfect. This is the way we're gonna go for sure. I kinda just wanna turn it on right now. It's not even plug.
So as the glue dries, I'm gonna cut this to fit into the rod. Things are coming along here pretty good. Last night, I remounted this with some wedge anchor bolts. The glue did not work. Then, put this on, and so this is what this looks like. It definitely crowds my nice fancy rack a little bit, which is disappointing, but nevertheless, this is looking super cool. So, I gotta add a bar across or down just to support the top so it doesn't shake. And then this is the, this could be the weakest link to be honest. Um, this is the best I could figure out right now, kind of for a bang for buck. It's just a little transfer pump. So we're going to try it and see if it works, you know. Um, I don't have a lot of money, but if you guys have an idea of like a, a better system for a pump, I'd, lo I'd love to hear it, you know. Uh, just affordable is the key word there. The next piece of the puzzle is to figure out the tank. I'm gonna set it up in this configuration. Not sure if it's gonna be on this side of the power hammer or down on the ground or maybe on the other side, but we'll figure that out. So, we've got baffles in here, and so we're going to have to cut the baffle out just because I need more depth for the tank. You know, just stop it there so we can cut that baffle out with some water in it still. It was the cheapest bang for buck I could find, so this is three quarter inch hose. I'm going to use this to run the line. It, it obviously would be really nice if this was a lot bigger. But it works really good for that little pump. So we're going to try it out and see how it goes. All right, we're going to just flush this rat out before we keep going. We are pretty much there, which is very exciting. I'm gonna add, pick up a 90 degree here so that hose will tuck in better. High side, it goes into the rad and it's getting sucked through the rad. And then it comes out here into this line, which is the pump, and then it feeds back into the bottom. What I did is I just put this bracket in. This is actually how it was held on, on the combine through that hole and a bar like this, and then I just used it into the rack I made up the other day. Pete, we're gonna have to add a support in there. Yeah. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> baffles, man. That's why the baffles were in. Guess so. Okay, let's uh, hit the switch there. Oh, that makes a lot of noise. Oh. What is that about? It's trying to suck fluid. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Wait, is there fluid in the... Yeah, there's fluid in the line. It's all coming is there fluid in here, though? Uh, no, yeah. let's put some fluid in there. Yeah. It sounds like that pump's going to die. That's a brand new pump. Oh. I think we're doing air. Look, it's just doing air. It's not working. There's two different methods I'm gonna to try to fix this. Instead of pulling water through the rad, I'm gonna push water through the rad. And then if that doesn't work, we'll go to plan B. I'm gonna try it out here, see if it works. Ah, 
That was the trick. That's all we had to do. Just change the direction. And so I turned the fan on now and the air is coming through. This water that's leaking here, uh, it's just because it spilled over the top, I'm pretty sure. I think at this point we are done. We're done everything we want to do on this for now. I'm gonna run this and try it out. We'll try a piece right now, like I'll get a big piece hot and quench it to see how the water does. And then in uh, next week is the part two of the Monarch knife finishing up, which is very exciting. That was supposed to be launching today when this video launched, things had to get shuffled around. So this will get tested really hard on the project coming up in two, uh, might make it to you in three weeks. I'm not sure, two to three weeks. But that'll be the really the workhorse of this to see if this whole entire setup will work. But let's let's try it out right now. I'm excited to see this work. We ran this for a couple minutes with nothing in it, and it's uh, sent 81, 83. 83 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I got a part in the forge. It's hot. It's more volume than the piece that I'm going to be working. I want to put it in here and then hopefully this works that in about, uh, and I don't have to cool that all the way, but in about, uh, about a two minute cycle after it's been out, it'd be really great if this was back to its base core of 83 around there. That would be ideal. We're going to see it and, and see how it goes. Got an 86, 85.4. So the first testing looks pretty promising here, and I'm excited about it, but uh, I want to run it in the production setting to see how it's actually going to work, so that'll be coming up. Uh, besides that, thanks for watching, super appreciate it. Uh, not this coming Saturday, but the next Saturday is the final conclusion of the 1947 Monarch Knife. If you haven't seen part one, swing back one video and take a look at that. Till then, keep the forge lit.